why I'll say which in full is disruptive in this conference is disruptive in such a way that we are making ourselves known to the world. We are there talking about things that most other people would not talk about, thereby making an impact because of it. USC is an opportunity, it is a platform for young people to engage. Despite the situations we are in, it does not limit us. I feel the YLC was a turning point, showing us there is more that we can do. There's an experience that we can still deliver and this experience we can still have. Despite being locked down at home, um, it's a turning point uh, showing us the things we can still do as opposed to what we were used to. It's a very educative platform. The YLC to me is youthful. I feel like it's forever vibrant and is always blossoming each and every day with new, bigger and better things. In one word, I could describe the YLC to be disruptive, relatable, very exhilarating. The word I would go with is landmark, amazing, outgoing, it is transformative, eye opening. Highlight, highlight. I feel like everyone, most people will see Bra because of, like, he just went in it, you know. Uh, down to the Indomie remark. remark. <laughs> anyway, like the one thing I remember, I still carry you from the entire DLC. There's a quote from Burale. He said, Where you stand in your youth determines where you'll sit at your old age, and it's still something I really think about until now. The DLC sessions in general made me think a lot about everything. I usually don't enjoy financial type summits, not summits, um, sessions per se. But this one made me think I really enjoyed the financial session as opposed to what I'm used to listening to. And my DLC experience was really great. From working hand in hand with the, like, how the OC down to being in the sessions, be, seeing the hard work the OC put in, enjoying the sessions and learning more from it. It was something, oh my God, I liked it. There were so many challenges which made it interesting because we made the work out. It's an amazing opportunity an amazing way that you get to learn and interact. Um, it also keeps you busy, especially during this COVID time. I know we all need it. Version 1 was phenomenal, it was beyond amazing and I most especially liked the day on mental health awareness and it's important that we're realizing for us to achieve Vision 2030, it's not just about SDGs, finances, you know, go, go, go. We need to be in the right mental state and space for us to achieve that and I like that we're embracing topics around mental health. What I loved about ULC was the topics that they had. I found it very very relatable to and it inspired me to feel better about myself in my current situation, especially during this corona period. What I liked most about QNC was the speakers. They were both fun <laughs> candidates sort of working and they really helped shed light on things I did not know I had no idea what happened. We were able to host a successful summit. It was an amazing experience because I was honored to work with very creative minds and we were able to meet successful people. The way we engaged with the facilitators and the youth who were in the conference was just amazing. What I loved about the URC the last time we had it were the great speakers. They were very remarkable people who did to talk with attention. I also loved the OC. They were very welcome and had very good energy. I think I second day studied a remarkable job. I really loved also the fact that we got 200 youth to attend a conference. It was great to hear from the facilitators that we had and just to get a bigger picture of the current uh, situations we were talking about when it came to how we should be financial productive when it comes to also the youth contribution to the society how can we step up and uh, make a difference uh, it was a really good experience we got to learn a lot we had some really good facilitators like Betty Chalu, um, Robert Burale and Elodie Zong. they talked to us about a few touching issues like mental health and the like. We learned a lot of things during that summit. We also got to enjoy ourselves and we at least got to keep ourselves occupied and busy but in a constructive manner. My experience was pretty good because um, it was very easy to access the sessions, um, the speakers were amazing and they shed light on so many things that I didn't even need to shed light on. So yeah, that was really nice. The issues that were talked about there are issues that I as a young person are going through and the insights that were given there were really able to help not only me but I'm hoping like the other people who are also in the session. My experience in the first virtual summit was 
an opportunity to interact with like-minded individuals and for us to be able to find solutions that are navigated towards COVID-19 and the whole pandemic period. I would say for sure it was an eye-opener for me. It was remarkable, it was amazing, it was superb. I had fun, it was a learning experience. I enjoyed every single bit of it. Honestly, it was something new, something fresh, something that I never expected that we could be able to pull off, but we eventually did and it was very successful and it was so exciting to be part of the people who are to organize it, you know, in terms of making the videos and making the posters and all the content that people uh, get to see I'm out there, but you know, it's not only me who did it, it was also together with my team and also bringing in facilitators from different parts of our country, guys like Elodie uh, Zone, Mr. Burale, Sir Louis, um, and many, many others. It was just mind blowing, and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. The one for me was very informative because we covered a range of different topics. It was also very interactive because we used different facilitators for each and every topic. That's how good we are, eh? Hey. First of all, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be ooh, ah, amazing. This conference is going to be going for three days, and this is something you don't want to miss. We're going to be tackling definitely different issues as this conference is geared to talking about the sustainable development goals and us impacting our youth. Uh, within the next decade the positive action. We're going to have some activities for you guys. You're going to get a chance to interact with an international audience. So we shall have people from different countries joining us. Uh, we shall also get a chance to experience other people's cultures. Expect a really better setup than before because before we just used Zoom. Now this time we will be going on site to be able to record these things live for you, the viewer as well as um, having even more facilitators, different ones that you didn't see during the summit. I can't give any options or any suggestions now because you will see that in due time. It's going to be an opportunity for everyone to be able to be part of this conversation, for everyone to be able to be part of solutions. For one, we'll be having different panelists covering different topics. Two, it will be more engaging. And three, we'll be having our global village. I'm expecting to have fun and I'm most especially waiting for the day we're going to be talking about creating and uh, if you realize creatives are starting to get a bit more noticed, they're starting to occupy space in the society and they're starting to get their voice. But in the process of all this, there's a good number of challenges they are facing and that's among the many things we're going to be talking about. We'll have so much fun. DLC 2 is going to be quite different from DLC 1. DLC 1 was a very nice experience that I really enjoyed and I got to learn. But DLC 2 is going to be live. We're going to be able to capture a larger audience than we did with DLC 1. I feel like it will have many added benefits like engaging with the facilitators on a one-on-one -on -one level. Here we get to ask them questions that will help us build our future and put us out there to be prepared for what is to happen next to us. I know for a fact it's going to be bigger and better than the summit or the 1.2. <laughs> um, the topics are going to be really different. I want to see a different take uh, from what we saw from the summit. I really want to enjoy myself and not only pick one highlight or to have the entire summit to be my highlight. In one, we used Zoom as our outreach for media and in two, we're going to be using live stream media to YouTube. Better results and definitely perfecting skills that we already have. We get to provide, we get to speak up as a youth, we get to have our voices heard concerning the social injustices that are happening in our country and in the world at large. We speak about human rights, we get to learn our rights as the youth of this country. So that is an amazing thing for me. I love that about the WLC version too. The other advantage is we have many more influential people who have agreed to come on board and support this conference, which is an amazing thing. We have more partners willing to partner with us during this conference which is something amazing for me. We also get, for the few who will get a chance to even meet with our mentors physically during the conference. So it's not just through Zoom or just any other platform. You can get to meet them face to face and get a few tips here and there. We are going to be doing it live stream. We are gonna have many other facilitators. 
many other partners are coming to join us so stay tuned for that and it's just gonna be all around amazing like you just have to see it to believe it i'm looking forward to seeing you guys there don't miss out i'm very excited keep it locked and see you we're to be there by the way we're not wasting our time here we're doing this for you yeah that's how much we care thank you and i cannot wait to see you there check out our pages check out our social media handles and don't be left out sign up sign up this is for you dylc 2020